Hi, my name is Keith Scott. Welcome to Marshall Business Solutions. You're watching a Marshall Coach segment titled Game of the Month. The Game of the Month segment is designed to allow you a, to have a new game that you can give to your students every single month to keep them excited to come to class and play the new game. Now, I highly recommend that you try to make your classes as exciting as possible so that you don't have to play games and what you want to try to do is you want to try to make class exciting in itself so that students aren't just used to playing a game. The game should be used as a reward. All right, this month's game of the month. Now, I'm sure that most of you have heard of or you have played Duck Duck Goose. This is a version of Duck Duck Goose that I must have come up with about 15 years ago at least. So this is called Duck Duck Dead Goose. So I'm going to explain Duck Duck Goose just in case there's anybody that hasn't done it and then we'll explain Duck Duck Dead Goose. Duck Duck Goose is where you get all the students in a circle. If you have a lot of students in class, you can have them uh, separate into several different groups. Now what will happen in Duck Duck Goose is you have one person that is going to stand up and they're going to walk around the outside of the small circle. Make sure all the students that are sitting down, that they're sitting up, if they lean back on their arms and their legs are out, then the person that's going around the circle may trip. So they need to sit up straight. So if you have them sit Indian style or in lock it up position or butterfly, have them sit up straight. The person walking around the outside of the circle is going to walk around and tap people on the head and say duck, duck, duck. They'll continue doing that and then at some point they're going to say goose when they tap somebody on the head. The person that they tap on the head has got to stand up and when they stand up, the person that is tapping people in the head, they're going to start running around the circle. They're going to try to make one circle around and sit back down in the original spot where the person they tapped was sitting. So they tap them in the head, they stand up, they run around the circle and they're going to chase the other person and they're going to try to tag them before they get back to their original spot. Now, if the person that was originally tapping people on the head, if they make it and sit down, no worries. All that's going to happen is they sit down in the spot and then the other person they tapped, now they're going to walk around and tap people in the head and say duck, duck, duck until they finally touch someone and say goose and then they'll run off. Now, if the person that was tapped, the person that became the goose, if they jump up and they run and they chase the first, first person and they tag them, then what's going to happen is the person that they tagged, they have to go in the middle of the circle. So the circle is called the pot. So they have to go in the middle of the pot. So the idea is that they're being cooked there. And so they have to stay in the middle of the circle until someone else is tacked, tapped on the head and they become the goose and they're chasing around and they tag the original person that was running and then they go in the middle of the pot. That's the only way to get out of the middle of the pot. So that is the traditional way to play Duck Duck Goose, which I'm sure most of you have played in uh, your martial arts school before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Duck Duck Dead Goose. This is the way to modify Duck Duck Goose. Now you can take a square hand target or some other small pad. You could take a soft ball, uh, not a soft ball like you play baseball and softball with, but a ball that is soft. Uh, you could take something, some type of cloth, like a sock or um, some type of a washcloth and maybe put some tape around it so that it's not too hard. So it doesn't need to be something that you can throw and injure the student with. It needs to be something that's still going to be soft. And what you'll do is you need to make sure someone responsible is going to be the person that's going to be the hunter. It's going to be throwing the ball. Now, you want to have several objects to throw, whether it's a ball or a focus target or whatever. You want to have several of them. You might want to have four or five or six of them in your hands holding them or in a stack on the floor. And as they go around the person, the duck or the goose, they could just be walking, they could be running. You're the person that... Hi, this is Keith Scott with Marshall Business Solutions. You've just watched a clip of a sample video. If you'd like to see full-length sample videos, visit the MBS website. It's marshallbusinesssolutions.com. Go to the website and click on Marshall Coach. Marshall Coach is a section which has information for anyone from an assistant instructor all the way to master level instructor. 
which will help you teach exciting classes and quality martial arts. Now, we have several full-length sample videos in this section, including Game of the Month, Instructor Teaching Tip, Max Performance, Peak Performance, and Student Protocol. There's also a podcast for the Life Lesson of the Month. Now, if you're a school owner, or if you would like to be a school owner in the future, you want to check out the MBS EPAC. The EPAC has tools that will help you enroll more new students, increase your revenue, and also help you save time. Now, there's a full-length sample video in the MBS EPAC section on sparring drills. Again, the website is marshallbusinesssolutions.com. It has several full-length sample videos for you, and my name is Keith Scott. Have a great day.